My name is Trace Bocklidge. I am a pathologist at the University of New Mexico, the School of Medicine, so I'm an academic physician. I was first diagnosed when I was uh, 32. I was hiking up in the mountains with friends of mine, and one of my friends, he just noticed the back of my leg had a brown spot on it. Turned out on biopsy to be a superficially invasive melanoma. Got it removed, thought I was cured, and basically 20 years later, 22 years later or so, it showed back up. After that, I read about melanoma. I thought about um, what my prognosis was, and I thought I didn't really have very long to live. So I thought that the best place I could come to would be where family is, and that's where my sister is and brother-in-law. I did know that Tony had been working in the area of immune therapy for years, and this was a new drug that he was, I guess, a collaborator on, testing it on patients. And what was amazing was that Tony knew I was a pathologist, so he actually let me see my own biopsies. The first thing he said was, Trace, I, I really think we can do something for you. I think you have a really good chance of really surviving another 20, 30 years. And when he said that, my sister said that my whole body shook because I'm a pathologist, I know what melanoma means. And when he told me, you've got a real shot at living a long life, it just was like an electric volt hitting me. <laughs> that was a good prediction because I'd say by just a few months, everything was gone. Basically, we want to heal people, you know, so if there is a, a new innovative way to treat someone who's got a cancer that otherwise they may die of, and I'm a person who directly experienced it, I am highly motivated to do anything I can to spread the word.